people that are evil and silly and wants to kill and wants to destroy others are, are, are suffering because of their own self-hatred. They don't have peace with themselves and they hate themselves and their self-esteem is so low and, and broken that they don't want to deal with their lackings and they rather to cover and plaster their lackings and their stink with other people's faults and blames. So they go all day long and instead of looking at themselves, like the verse is saying, Rak look at yourself, stare in your own eyes, and then you'll see all the evil that they're going to pay. Like evil will pay when you're going to take yourself seriously and do tshuva. You want to correct the world? Correct yourself. If you don't want to correct yourself, so you look at the world in a negative eye, because you're afraid to deal with your own lackings, and then you criticize everyone, and you blame everyone, and you hate everyone, and you want to rebuke everyone, and to punish everyone, and you want to... And it's all a reflection. Like the Gemara is saying, beautiful Torah we have, and we've been blessed to, to learn it in such a beautiful and, and straight and honest way. The Torah is saying, when a person wants to remove a chip of wood from the eye of his friend, first of all he needs to remove the beam of wood from his own eyes. Means that when you see a lacking, a small tiny lacking in the eyes of a person, you want to fix, you want to correct, first of all remove the piles of garbage from your own eyes before you go and blame others and judge other people. So 